Okay, about to kick off turn number four, January 1938. Uh, before we get to Germany's turn, officially 4.1, um, I just want to go over a couple of things. I was asked about uh, some of the sculpts that I'm using to represent uh, units in the game. So I just wanted to cover that a little bit first. So uh, the first thing was, what am I using for militia? And this is the actual militia sculpt from HBG. So um, this is the actual militia, and they have it um, for each of the major powers in that uh, major powers uh, color. This is black, so this is representing uh, Germany. And then for cavalry, again, the same thing. That is the actual cavalry sculpt from HBG. And again, they have those available in the colors of the major powers. Now for the German airborne unit, that is unique to, uh, that sculpt is unique to Germany. That is an actual German paratrooper, a Fallschirmjäger. So um, for other countries, they just have a generic airborne sculpt. Um, but for the Germans themselves, they actually have their own specific sculpt. And then finally is what I'm using for the Japanese Marines. I think the sculpt pretty much looks like a Marine. Definitely assaulting a beachhead. You can see that. Um, that sculpt is also from HBG, and that is part of their America game, which is like a post-World War II, what if the Axis won invading America game. Um, and that sculpt is actually, in the game, the SNLF Infantry. So it is the Special Naval Landing Force Infantry for the Japanese. Now, in this game, I'm using them just for the regular Marines. I do have um, SNLF markers. So I suppose, even though I prefer to use sculpts, if I was to purchase some SNLF, I would go ahead and just put a marker underneath um, one of these guys. And that would be the difference between regular Marines and SNLF. And here's the back of uh, the box for America. And as you can see there, that is, you get 12 of those SNLF um, infantry. So just wanted to cover that real quick first. And then we'll get on to uh, Germany's tech rolls. So we have... Um, Five tech rolls coming up. So we've already advanced to stage two and four tech, so we can't go any further on those until um, July of 39. So our five techs we're going to shoot for on this turn are going to be um, heavy armor, uh, which we need an eight or higher, um, long range aircraft, seven or higher, advanced submarines, eight or higher. Um, improved construction, seven or higher, and attack transports, eight or higher. So let's see. We'll start out with the heavy armor. So again, an eight or higher, and we got a one, so no heavy armor. Then on to long-range aircraft, a seven or higher. Uh, we got a nine, so we advance there. Uh, advanced submarines are an eight or higher. We got a 12, so we get advanced subs. Then we're going on to improve construction for seven or higher. We got a two, so that won't cut it. And then finally, attack transports are eight or higher. And we got a nine. So we succeeded on three of our uh, three of our five tech rolls. So let's come over here and we'll go ahead and put. So we went ahead and moved up to stage two for long range aircraft, advanced subs were at stage one, and then attack transports. We are there as well at stage one. So that covers the German uh, tech rolls. So let's go ahead and look at their buys. So they had $27 to spend. They had saved a couple bucks from the last turn. So we're going to go ahead and spend $24, okay, and hold on to three for uh, the next turn. And the $24 are going to consist of four self-propelled artillery at five bucks a piece for 20. And I've just got four chips because they're all going to go into a territory that already has that sculpt. And then we're going to buy one light armor, um, which is represented by that Panzer 38T. 
and that's four dollars for the 24 bucks that Germany's going to spend. Okay, so that covers uh, the purchasing of the Germans. Now, as far as combat, we do have one combat move. Now, in Europe itself, uh, Germany has annexed all the territories they can without uh, engaging in full-scale war. So Germany is good in Europe itself, but in um, Spain, we are going to go ahead and attack. So the nationalists are going to go here into Catalonia with these that are to be defended by these two militia. So we're going to send these two infantry from Navarre and all four of our fighters, three fighters from Leon Castile and one from Navarre. The ones here in Leon Castile go two spaces, Navarre one. So let's go ahead and gather up all our units here, our four artillery, our two infantry, and these two militia. Okay, so then we're going to come on over and grab our dice tray, come on over to the battle board. So we've got the two militia defending at a two, which I want to talk about that for a second here. Um, the two infantry would normally be two, but attacking in a mountain territory, they drop to a one. And the four fighters all attack at a six. Now, I'm going to bump these militia up one more to a three because there is a city in that territory. It's Barcelona. And I'm not sure. Um, I know the cities have to have circles to be able to count as a city that gets the defending bonus for the infantry class units. But to me, it looks like it's circled in the same way that, say, Madrid is. So if Madrid counts as a city um, for defensive purposes, I'm assuming Barcelona does. So if not, then, um, oh, well, I lose out by giving these militia uh, one more, a plus one um, for their defensive. But I'll live with the results. Um, let me know what you guys think as far as the cities go. Um, there Again, there doesn't really seem to be any difference in um, – the cities, at least in terms of Barcelona and Madrid, and I'm pretty much positive Madrid does give you the plus one bonus. So we're just going to go with saying it does give the bonus. So those two militia would normally be two. They're now a three. And cities add the plus one to just infantry class units. So I'm going to go ahead and roll four die for my four fighters. So I need uh, uh, up to a six. So six or less. And we got an 8, a 3, a 5, and a 9. So we got two hits. So that takes out both militia. So now the two militia are going to get two hits at 3. And we got an 8 and a 6. So there's that 6. So no hits for the um, militia. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these guys back. Okay. So, the two militia take Catalonia, so that is now the fifth territory that the nationalists own in Spain. Okay, the fighters will move, obviously, back on non-combat, so I'm just going to set them off to the side here. So, that's it for uh, combat. So, then non-combat, we might as well take care of Spain while we're right here before we get to Germany. So for non-combat, I'm going to have this cavalry in Navarre and these three artillery pieces in Navarre come down one to Madrid, okay? And then all four fighters, three of them went two spaces, so they go one space to Madrid, and so does the one that went one space. So in Madrid right now, we have four infantry, a cavalry, three artillery, and four fighters. Okay. Then for Germany, um, non-combat moves, we are going to take uh, these three artillery that are in eastern Germany, and they are going to come down one, two to Slovakia. So they're going to be in Slovakia. And altogether in Slovakia is three infantry, 
three cavalry, and a light armor. Okay. Then the fighter that was in Slovakia is going to go one, two, three to West Germany. So that is the third fighter that is in uh, West Germany. And then we are going to take from C zone number three over here, we've got a transport, a destroyer, and a light cruiser. And they're going to go over one to C zone number 13. So they're going to join that small uh, German fleet over there. So that just leaves a coastal defense ship and a torpedo boat destroyer in three. And now in 13, we have uh, two regular subs, a coastal sub, a torpedo boat destroyer, a transport, a destroyer, and a light cruiser. Um, and that is, I believe, that, yes, that is it for uh, non-combat moves. So now for unit placement, we'll go ahead and grab our light armor and our four uh, self-propelled artillery. And they are all going in the same territory. And that is going to be West Germany. So we'll put our light armor down there. Okay. Flip that over. And then remove the self-propelled artillery sculpt and drop down all four of our new self-propelled artillery. So that's now up to eight self-propelled artillery in West Germany, along with two infantry, two light armor, a towed artillery piece, and uh, three fighters. So that's it for uh, German non-combat. And so now we'll move on to our recruitment role. So I am now up to five territories in Spain. So I need a five or a less um, to hit for this. And we got a 12, so that's not going to cut it. So no increase in Spain. And then the Germans are still at $24, plus they saved three from last turn. So they have a total of $27 um, to spend on turn number five. Um, that's it for Germany. We'll see you back here in a little bit for uh, Japan 4.3. Take care.